Welcome everyone to the State Board Resource Center channel. If you like what you hear today, give us a call 760-534-4434 or visit our website www.cosmetologystateboardexam.com. Everything you need, barber, cosmetology, skin care for aesthetics, or manicure and nail technology. Today we're going to talk about something very important on your test, hair cutting degrees and angles. This is found on page 532 in your Barber book and page 363 in your Cosmetology book. It's also found in about six or 10 questions on your Barber or Cosmetology licensing exam. In your book, it covers about 12 pages. I'm gonna go over it in the next five or six minutes and tell you what you need to know to pass your test on hair cutting angles, lines, and degrees. First of all, we'll start with zero degrees. This is called a low elevation on your state board exam, zero degrees. It is cut using what they call a horizontal guideline. Horizontal, like the horizon where the sun goes down over the ocean or on the east coast where it rises over the ocean. Horizontal cutting line, zero degrees. It is used essentially for one haircut only, the blunt haircut. Now the confusion comes in here. Your state board exam calls it one of four different names, blunt, solid form, page boy, or bob, depending upon which textbook they took the question from. So the zero degree, low elevation, used for a blunt haircut, a solid form haircut, a page boy haircut, or a bob haircut. It's all the same haircut. And you will cut this with your fingers and the shears below, I'm sorry, with your shears below your fingers. There'll be two questions. One will ask you about shear cutting above your fingers and shear cutting below your fingers. Cosmo students usually do pretty well on this. Barber students, not so much because primarily they custom cut with clippers. Cutting below your fingers with the shears. Zero degree blunt haircut. Now the next one is 45 degrees. Your book tells you that this is the most common angle for women's hair cutting, 45 degrees. It's called a medium elevation, and it achieves what's called a graduated cut. The book tells you nine times over six pages that a 45 degree elevation achieves a graduated cut. When they tell you something nine times, it's gonna be on the test. 45 degree elevation, it is a medium elevation. It is the most common elevation for women's hair cutting. It achieves a graduated cut, and finally, this is the angle you will generally use if you do razor cutting. Now the state board asks you why you should razor cut your client's hair. The obvious answer is that's what they want, but that's not a state board test answer. The reason you would use a razor to cut your client's hair is simple. It achieves a softer, more feminine feathered ends. And there's the state board test question. It achieves a softer, more feminine look with feathered ends, 45 degrees. The next one is 90 degrees. This is the most common angle for men's hair cutting. It achieves what is called uniform layers. And I guarantee you there's the test question. 90 degrees, the most common angle for men's hair cutting achieves uniform layers. And it uses a traveling guideline. There are two guidelines on your test, stationary and traveling. This one down here is a stationary guideline. This one is a traveling guideline. Finally, you have 180. This is an easy one. It is used for long layers. Typically, younger women, long hair, they want long layers. 180 degrees. So in a quick review, zero degrees, low elevation, one haircut, blunt, solid form, page boy or bob, uses a stationary guideline. You will cut it with shears, your finger, the shears below your fingers. 45 degrees, most common for women. Graduated cut, feathered ends, typical for a razor cut. 90 degrees, most common angle for men's haircuts. Uniform layers, traveling guideline. And finally, 180 degrees, long layers. Now what I've observed over a long time doing this, barber students especially are always surprised how many questions on their test are about what they say is cosmetology. Hair, hair color, permanent waves, chemical relaxers. 
This is all in your book. And if you've got the Milady book, it's chapters 17 and 18. And you will have, depending upon your state, between 15 and 20 questions out of chapters 17 and 18. So here's six to 10 questions right here on haircutting. It's chapter 16 in the Barber book. It's entitled Women's Haircutting. And barbers want to step right over that chapter. And they tell me, I'm never going to do women's hair. And that's altogether possible. It's your decision. But keep in mind, there's going to be six to 10 questions on the test coming right from this picture. Those of you with the Milady book, again, look on page 532 or 363 for Cosmos. It'll tell you what I just told you. If you have the Pivot Point book, unfortunately, it doesn't tell you this, but I've just told you. Give us a call, 760-534-4434. We do private duty tutoring. Very reasonable prices, cost less than failing your test again. The average student who calls us fails at least four times. That's a lot of money between the state and the testing agency, probably Pearson View or PSI. They don't do it for free. Give us a call, 760-534-4434. Great prices, guaranteed results. And visit our website, www.cosmetologystateboardexam.com and tune in for all our other videos. Thank you.